Hi everybody, my name is Andrei and today we'll talk about uh, debugging timeout tests with the playwright test. Let's start. So what I have here is a simple playwright test that does a bunch of actions. It navigates somewhere, it clicks some buttons, it fills and even asserts a bunch of URLs. So overall it's uh, quite complicated end-to-end -end test with a bunch of await statements in it. Now, it happens so this particular test actually times out when I try to run it. Let's see. I limited the time to 3 seconds so that you don't wait too much. Now we can see that it indeed did time out. Now, unlike other testing frameworks, Playwright test actually gave me a good idea of what's going on. So I can actually see that page click was pending and didn't complete during the running of this test. And I know that this click actually was waiting for the evaluation arguments. Now I even get a snippet uh, that shows me some context around these lines. This is already pretty cool and would be really helpful on uh, CI if I were to read just the logs of this failure. Uh, but actually, since we are having this issue locally, I can use a very cool playwright inspector to debug and fix this. So let me show you how. So in order to use playwright inspector, I can use pwdebug environment variable and just run the test one more time. Now, in this setup, you will notice a few things. First, the browser window will be headed. So from now on, I would be able to see everything that's going on inside of my test. Second very prominent thing is this small window, which is actually a Playwright Inspector. Now, in Playwright Inspector, you can see the code of your test with an execution line paused on the first Playwright action. Now, I can click the step over button to go over actions one by one. And as I do so, you can see the browser window actually changes, and in this case it just navigated to playwright.dev website. Now, as I am paused on the click action here, I can see this red circle in the top right corner. Now, this is where playwright is actually aiming to click this placeholder element. And this actually looks good for me, and I can just continue and step over this click. So it did click, focus in there, and I can type something in here, and it did type things. Now you can see that my step over button actually is no longer active. And this is because we are waiting for some selector to resolve. And this operation is still pending. Now the test author, I, I assume, actually wanted to click this first suggest box item. And for some reason this click doesn't find it. So I can use this explore button to go and see what selector I'm supposed to click. So I clicked it and now I can hover over the page and see that different elements have different selectors. And in this case the selector is supposed to be evaluation argument. Now it turns out that here I was almost right, I have some extra S statement here, so that's actually the reason why my click doesn't work. And now with this information it's easy for me to jump back to my console, go to the test, remove the extra S and rerun the test making sure it actually passes now. Okay, success! And this was Debugging test timeouts with Playwright Inspector. Thank you for watching.